Hello friends, in the current video tutorial I will be talking about in place element structure. So what is an in place element structure? In place element structure is used when you operate on a data element within an array, cluster, variant or waveform without requiring the lab view compiler to copy data values and maintain those values in memory. So you don't have to copy the data and labview does not create a copy of data and you can operate within an array cluster variant or waveform and you can operate on a particular element without doing other operations on other elements of the array you can also use this structure to operate on any data type that you want to maintain within the same data space in memory this controls how the LabVIEW compiler performs certain operations and in some cases increases memory and efficiency. So what is this element? This is the in place element structure. Right? So you can use this in place element structure to operate on a certain element within an array so let's see the programming task at hand with this example i will be showing that what is the use of this in place element structure programming task at hand is generate an array of numbers from 0 to 9 select the sixth element of the array that is number 5 index and take taking its square root while the other elements of the array remain the same so fifth uh, sixth element of the array that is index number 5 i have to take the square root now replace the sixth element of the array that is number 5 index by its square root and thus generating a new array so this is the programming task at hand So let's first see if the if we do it by conventional programming without using the in plate place element structure. So this is a normal program which I have created without using the in place element structure. You see that I have created a for loop and I have wired it to produce ten elements. I have wired the initializer terminal through through decimal to double conversion and then I have wired it to the index array function I have taken the index number 5 or which is the sixth element of the array and then I have square root that element and then I have use the replace array subset function to put that element again into the array and replace the element number uh, index number 5 element uh, which is 5 because numbers are generated from 0 to 9 and this is the final array so this was the initial array and this is the final array let's run this program so you see that only the fifth element uh, number sixth element or index five element has been square rooted now how to do this programming using in place element structure so in in place element structure I have just used this in place element I have just created a node border node on the in place element structure and I have square rooted the index number 5 or 6th element uh, index number 5 element or 6th element so this as this is again uh, compiled uh, 
back into the replace array index replace element border node and array 2 is generated so let's run this so you see that the fifth element uh, fifth index element has been square rooted now let's the com let's compare you see that there is a lot of simplicity in this block diagram and you have to do a lot of other operations and this become tedious while it is quite easy for this uh, in place element structure to operate on a single element and it's quite easy to make this you just have to place the in place element structure and you have to put click on the border and add array index replace elements these nodes appear one of the node is array index node this is the array index node and this node is replace elements nodes right and then you can wire this is the index terminal this is the array terminal and then you can do any operations so it's not that I can do only square root I can do all the mathematical operations all the mathematical operations I can do so that I can replace it with increment or I can replace it with any other numeric and other operations I can do any operations So array index replace elements border node within the in place element structure use this border node to perform operations on an element or elements of an array and return the elements to the same location or locations in the array. Each array element you index with the border node on the left side of the structure must be placed back into the array with the border node on the right side of the structure by wiring the element back into the array so if you take the element out particular element out using the index you take the operations on that element and then you wire the result back into the array This border node allows the LabVIEW compiler to avoid making a complete value copy of array and array elements in the memory. So efficiency increases. The border node on the left side of the structure is similar to the index array function. The border node on the right side of the structure is similar to replace array subset function. So node this side is index array or array index function and this node is similar to replace elements replace subset of an array function. So this node is similar to index array index array function and this node is similar to this replace array subset function now let's look at the 
this was a single dimensional array and we have seen that it is quite easy to use in, pla in place element structure and it simplifies the task as well as increases the efficiency so now let's look at the Two D example in which I have taken two dimensional array. So again, the programming task is the same. I have to generate a two D array, and then I have to take out a particular element, and I have to operate on it, taking its square root, and then creating the result. So I have created a 6 by 6 array and since uh, sorry 5 by 5 array uh, which is a 2 dimensional array and uh, then I have taken the element number 5th uh, row because 4 is the index index starts from 0 so it's the 5th row and 4th column element and I have taken the square root of that element so let's run the program so you see that this is the fifth row 1 2 3 4 5 and this is the fourth column and square root has been generated for that particular element and the combined array is this array number 2 so we see that this in place element structure having border node known by the name array index replaced element border node is a very useful tool for creating a program in which we have to operate on certain element of a array be it one dimensional, two dimensional, you can also increase it to three dimensional or n, any n dimensional array. So that's all for this in place element structure part one. I will be releasing more videos on in place element structure. Uh, this is the first video in which I have demonstrated that array index replace elements border node is used for increasing efficiency i hope you have liked this video thanks for watching this video